Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for being here. You know that I love my color art products and I was so excited when they came out with this new line called Vivid Intense. And what they are is very highly pigmented fluid paint, uh, very similar to golden, except these are crazy pigmented with color. And what I did is I took the Van Dyke Brown from Vivid Intense and I tinted my silver and my titanium white with the Van Dyke Brown. I have been having so much fun just playing mad scientist and tinting colors, creating custom colors. There literally is no end as far as your imagination can see. That's what you can do. Um, so if you haven't tried them, try them out. I think you'll really, really like them. You can use them as regular paint as well. Um, or I really haven't done too much of that. I prefer saving them and using them to tint my other colors. Um, but you can use them as, as regular paint however you want to use them. So give them a try. My um, code is BrickClayton322. You'll get a nice little discount off of that. Um, so give them a try and let me know what you think. So moving on to this piece, I did a piece a couple weeks ago, a Chaos Dutch Pour that was highly inspired by uh, Erica Hughes. And I liked it so much that I wanted to try it with these colors. Um, now you guys know I'm from New Mexico. I love my earth tones. Uh, anything that reminds me of the Southwest, I am in. So I picked this palette and wanted to see uh, what this technique would look like with these colors. How will it turn out? Stay tuned. Guys, I am going to apologize. I meant to have my second camera up and rolling for this piece and I completely spaced it. So my apologies for not giving you a better view of the blowout, having my hand in the way the whole time. I apologize for that. Um, to make it up to you, I'll tell you a little secret. If you have a hard time blowing out a pour, if you'll watch how I hold the blow dryer, that will help you tremendously, I think, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I very rarely put that blow dryer at an angle. It is always straight up and down. And the reason for that is if you hold it in an angle, it's gonna go flying, not necessarily really far or terribly, but it will affect your composition and it will affect how the paints end up together. Um, this was a hard, long time coming lesson that uh, I finally learned when blowing out paint. Keep your blow dryer as straight as you can. You'll also notice that I'm not moving the blow dryer very fast. That's because I have it on a low setting and I have to go slow in order to let the air move the paint. Um, if, you, if I were to put it on high, I think it would have moved the paint way faster than I wanted to. Again, it would affect your composition. It would blend the paints more, um, so you'd get more blended colors as opposed to keeping true colors. And that's generally what you want to some degree um, when you're blowing out paint. You don't want everything kind of muddied up together. You want to be able to see your individual colors. And that's why um, I love this blow dryer. Uh, Molly gave it to me back at the Fluid Art Boutique in Delray Beach, Florida. Uh, it's a little mini Berta blow dryer. 
and it literally is so perfect for this technique um, as long as your paint is the right consistency. So if you can find one on Amazon, I don't know where she got it. I've never looked for another one, um, but it is the Mini Berta and I love it. I think you'll love it. If you can find one, grab it. And the best thing about this blow dryer is that it has a cool setting. pretty in my house as much as I would love to keep her uh, she is going to be for sale along with her counterpart in blue um, I was really really happy 
with the cells and the lacing I got um, that was coming from the titanium white that I used. Tinted, of course. Um, that and the mix of metallics in there gave me a great uh, amount of cells and lacing. Not too much, not too little, just the right amount. And uh, she's really pretty, y'all. I hope you like her. Let's talk for just a second about the Fluid Art University that I've got going on in my Patreon account. This is something that I started as a really kind of a hardcore form of teaching. Um, we're gonna focus on one technique every month, learn everything we can about it, all the different ways to do it. This month is Flip Cups 101. Would love to have you join us. I give them sneak peeks, tips and tricks that I may not share here on my regular channel. Would love to have you in our group. So give it a thought and uh, have a great weekend. I hope you stay hydrated. We're still not enjoying the heat, but I think we're getting a break soon. You guys have a great weekend.